Welcome back, everybody. This your girl, Heavy C. I want to thank all my subscribers. I truly appreciate y'all. Okay, so today is my motherfucking birthday, okay? A goddess was definitely born on this motherfucking day. You see what I'm saying? So remember, this re is general. It's not finna resonate with everybody. So if this is not your situation, I advise you to tap the fuck out. All right, let's jump right in. Now... The important message for this blackout, February 25th, 2019, we have family and tribe, okay? Be very discerning with other people's opinions. Become aware of how the beliefs of your family and tribe are influencing you. What did you learn about relationships, money, and opportunities when you were younger? Ask yourself, Am I still carrying some of those outdated beliefs? Am I trying to seek love and approval from my family by doing what they want me to do? An important question to ask yourself is whether you are living your life in order to make someone else or yourself happy. This card asks you to examine your loyalties, family beliefs, superstitions, and rituals that have power over you. Let go of anything that is not serving you. You are also being asked to face your fears of being different and embrace your uniqueness even if others don't understand or approve of your actions. Often working with your energy centrist and particularly the root chakra can help you release past limitations and hurts, increase your confidence and help you manifest your desires into the physical reality all right y'all so be yourself all right if motherfuckers ain't accepting you for who you are and what the fuck you want to do fuck them you see what i'm saying so let's jump right in now this is all dealing with somebody who ghosted a motherfucker Somebody who went missing. It's like, oh, somebody is popping back up in a motherfucker life. All right. They hear this motherfucker has arrived. Okay. After went missing for about 72 hours. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Now, this person who went missing is. This person, the king, I give him that. Okay. Definitely getting this money. Definitely know how to be in a serious commitment. Very serious. Okay. Very serious. Could be a little bit too serious. All right. I'm going to need a motherfucker to chill out. Also, this person has feelings. This person is very sensitive. You may not know it, but... Easily, this person's feelings could get hurt, all right, especially in the past. Now, this person is coming towards you slowly, all right? They not rushing in. It's like they taking their time. They took their time, okay, because it's like now they, they here. It's like a motherfucker got lost or some shit. Dealing with this person, things was off balance, of course, okay, it was like something was not mixing. But it wasn't blending because it was some type of karmic karma energy around um, that needed to play out. And that was dealing with this person getting caught up in they bullshit, caught up in they lies, caught up in deceptive energy, just getting caught the fuck up. Like that was faded. Like that person needed to get caught up. That had to play out like that in order for things to be balanced. You see what I'm saying? So everything is orchestrated. Like like if you was like if you caught this person up, you were supposed to catch this person up. That's how it was supposed to play out. So the wheel can fucking turn. 
Okay. I feel like right now dealing with this person, this person, it's like now I feel like they got wiser. They got wiser now. Okay. Because before they didn't want to be bothered and secluding themselves and just, just shutting the fuck down. Okay. Now it's like they finna come towards you. Like, with wanting a new beginning, wanting a second chance, could want sex, but it's some type of action. But they, when it comes to action with, like, passion, they coming forward with that. But I feel like with an offer of, like, um, being on a commitment, that's slowly coming. If that shit just made sense. Because... It was some type of... Something happened, okay? Something definitely happened. And somebody didn't see this coming. Okay? Somebody may need to apologize for creating this moment. So, I don't know. But this made this person realize something in them, I feel like. it's It, it brought out... How am I trying to say this? It brought out the leadership in them. Like this leader role is taking action. It's confident. I feel like this made this person very confident. Like it brought this person confidence. It made this person recognize who the fuck they are. Like this in that moment. Maybe where somebody was all in their feelings, but this somebody may need to apologize for creating some type of moment, okay? Because it's like, you know that, I feel like you know this person is in love with you. Like before, this person just was taking your love, taking it, taking it, taking it, and then I feel like this person may have wanted you to feel like how they used to feel. Like, okay, everybody just take for me. Now, when a real motherfucker come, it's like, oh, shit. They fucking up because they like, damn, this person was really loving me. Like, and I'm just taking, taking, taking. Now, this person want to offer you that love. Instead of drink from your cup, they want to offer their cup to you. I feel like they always wanted to. But mentally, they was trapped some fucking where they always wanted to offer you this. It's like they always loved you. They always wanted to offer you this love. But when it came to a commitment, it was like they just, they thoughts was really fucking with them. Like they ain't know what the fuck to do. Okay, I feel like when this person show up or uh, want to knock on a motherfucking door, ring a doorbell, whatever. It's like, you not excited about that shit at all. It's like, you know what I used to be like, I used to be excited when you pop the fuck back up. Like I used to, but it's like now. It's like you waiting, like, okay, I know this motherfucker finna come back. But you know what? This time, I'm gonna hold my tongue. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm not gonna speak, okay? I'm gonna just let a motherfucker pop up. Because it's like, you got a lot of doubt. A lot of doubt with this because it's like, okay, I was looking towards my future. Like, I knew how to take action. I go for what the fuck I want. Like, I know this. Like, I put the time in. But it's still a lot of doubt. It's a lot of doubt because this person used to know how to lie. Okay, pretty much. But I feel like now, it's like you see the lie before it come out this person's mouth. Like, you already know how this person is moving. It's like they can't really shape shift when it comes to them lies and shit. Like, that deceit, like, it's like, come on. Try again. Okay, because it's like I'm peeping out every fucking thing. Like, if this person was in a serious commitment... 
they may was shape shifting around that shit. Like you probably thought this person wasn't in no fucking commitment at all. Like they were single than a motherfucker. That's how shape shifting they asses was. Okay. Could have had a home, all type of shit. But it was like this something was blocking this from coming together. So I don't know if this person was in some type of serious commitment. But you was very loyal to this person. You might as well say you was in a fucking commitment with this person. You see what I'm saying? But it was a lot of blockages when it came to the lies. It's like the lies. I can't take no more lie. You see what I'm saying? Now... Sitting on the foundation dealing with this person, okay? This person is in love with you. They coming towards you slowly. But I feel like when they come toward you, they is going to be serious when it comes to a commitment, okay? Very serious. Now, sitting on the foundation right now dealing with this person, it's like, you know what? I'm not happy right now. I didn't wish for this. This ain't my wish fulfillment, okay? This didn't, mm -mm, nope. And it's like, because it could have been a lot of endings in the past where you were just feeling left out. You know what I'm saying? You was feeling fucking left out. And it's like, now dealing with this, it's like, okay, this person may be coming. It's like, okay, this person is ready to take charge, ready to take lead. Um, Maybe got like some things in order. But I feel like. Be careful because this person may try to come towards you with communication, but it's like, it's going to be kind of like controlling, but the way they say it, it may rub you the wrong way. Okay. So watch out for that shit. Um, also this is not moving right now. It's like in park. Okay. It's definitely in park because it's like a lot of things been said, a lot of things been said that really... That was really painful. Okay, really painful. And it's like, you know what? I just got to walk away from this shit. I got to walk away. Somebody had to walk away. And I feel like you know your worth, okay? Or somebody see your worth. But I feel like you know your worth. You know your worth. It was like... Somebody was trying to transmute this energy. Like, try to transform this shit this lower vibration into something higher but it was like before they was trying to use that devil energy to try to create something you see what i'm saying it was like uh, -uh that devil energy is not finna work because it's like now that shit ain't doing nothing but creating a motherfucker being obsessed. You see what I'm saying? Like, just stuck in some prison feeling bondage. Like, that shit ain't gonna work, okay? So, somebody definitely need... It was like a decision had to be made on that shit. Like, we can't be working with this devil energy because this shit is powerful. And it's like, this is leading to obsession, okay? So... Somebody definitely tried to transmute it, but they tried to, like, use that alchemy shit, but that shit ain't really work. I feel like that shit may have backfired. Like, <laughs> this person obsessed now. You know what I'm saying? If a motherfucker was trying to create some shit, because this is all coming from, like, lies. A motherfucker just didn't get truth. It's like, when am I going to get the fucking truth? what's up with the lies like is that the new trend lies okay because it's like this is also coming from you gave this motherfucker the benefit of the doubt it's like you could have walked away but you didn't it's like you know what let me still drink from this cup of lies it's like that shit because you already knew it was a connection and you was in love with this person you still in love with this person you care for this person just like this person love you you love this person you do um, now the situation right now dealing with this person. Okay. Let's not get it twisted because even though this person showing up serious and shit, right? You where it's like, 
Y'all the same person, <laughs> low key. But right now, you may not be on no serious commitment. Like, you may just be focused on money. Like, this motherfucker just went ghost. And it's like, okay, now this motherfucker want to pop up. Like, now a motherfucker is going back down memory lane type shit. You see what I'm saying? Because it's like before, you, you healed. You had a piece of man. Okay? You, it was like, okay, um, I'm healing. I'm healing, right? <laughs> that's how you, that's the situation. Like, I'm healing. I'm healing. I'm doing good. But it was some type of ending happened. Something ended. And it's like, okay, I need justice around this bitch. Karma, where the fuck are you? Like, what is this? So it turned you kind of like, okay, now you the opposite of this motherfucker. Like first you was the same. It's like now I'm not now I'm I'm the opposite. Whatever the fuck you coming up towards, I, I I'm I'm the opposite of that shit. So if you coming towards me with a commitment, I don't want that shit. Like I want money. You see what I'm saying? Like, so <laughs> it's like <laughs> right now, dealing with this person, you kinda like you kind of pulling your goddamn hair out. You see what I'm saying? When this motherfucker pops up. Because it's like, you at the end, like you, it's like accepting this ending, a, a, no, accepting this um, cycle being over with. Because this cycle is over with. So whatever you was going through in the previous cycle, it's, it's a wrap pretty much and you should have learned your lesson. And I feel like the lesson was you becoming matching this person energy when they do come back so that's challenging you it's like okay when this person do show up how you finna show up like you finna be that bitch where it's like look i ain't fucking with you i don't want no serious commitment if you ain't got no money if you ain't talking about no fucking money get the fuck on you see what i'm saying because i got bills and shit right it's like is you gonna show up like you still loyal? You still ready for a commitment? Like, you still on that same shit you was on when I left your ass? Like, is you still on that shit? Balancing some shit out? Blending shit together? Like, that's your challenge. <laughs> like, that's the lesson you should have learned by now. But it's like, it's kind of hard. When a motherfucker pops back up. You see what I'm saying? It's kind of hard. Because it's like. You thinking like this motherfucker. Is, this shit is out of control. Ain't, and motherfuckers ain't no shit. Okay. Like. Because this person got away with a lot of shit. They got away with it. But it's like now. This person is like trying to move. Want to move forward with you. I feel like mentally. They want to move forward. I feel like they got their shit together. They want to move forward. But it's just, you, it's kind of hard right now. It's like, how the fuck a motherfucker think they just going to pop up, want to offer me some shit, and think I'm supposed to accept it? Like, I get it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. But have you learned the lesson with showing up? Like you, like you supposed to show up. Not on that gold digging energy shit. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, n not showing up like that, but showing up how you know to show the fuck up. How you been showing up from day one. You see what I'm saying? So, that's kind of hard because I feel like this person is obsessively in love with you. And you... And you know it. You know it. Because you looking at it like, okay, I really don't need to think about this. Like, I don't need to go in and really think about it because I already know. I already know. Like, you could have been, before you could have been wanting to move 
move away from this person. But I feel like this person is coming towards you. I feel like this person is not finna leave you hanging no more. Some type of shift happened. I don't know what the fuck is going on, y'all. Drop a comment and let me know what the where is the moon at on February 25th. Please tell me where the moon at. Now, this outside energy is this person. I, it's like this. It's repeating the same shit. This person is in love. This person is serious. When it comes to a commitment, this person got money saved up. Like, I feel like you wouldn't want for shit. Like, this person wanted justice for some reason. This person either wanted justice or they wanted to give you justice. Like, this person could have been very selfish. Very selfish. And the, and the universe... Gay they ass a rude awakening. Like, motherfucker, like, okay. You can offer more to this person. And you mean to tell me you're not offering this person shit. Like the universe, like, I will take all that shit from you. And I will make sure that you need this person before they need your ass type shit. You see what I'm saying? So man, motherfuckers better be careful about this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just be cool. Be cool. But it's something with justice. Something with making something right. Something fair. Because somebody invested. Like, they put the time in. They did all they were supposed to do. And it's like waiting. <laughs> like what? Well, what the fuck do I get out of this? Like, it's like, what do I get out of this? All this hard work, all this effort, all this loyalty, all this dedication. It's like, what the fuck do I get out of it? And I feel like you know that y'all gonna come together. You know it. Deep down, you know. Y'all is going to come together. At first, it was like two people like not close enough. I feel like this is going to bring y'all closer. I feel like this is going to move forward. But I feel like you already know this. Whoever I'm talking to, you know this. Like, you know you and this person are going to be together. You know it. You just don't know when. You don't even know if it's in this lifetime. But you do know. Y'all was. Connected in a previous life though. Because it's too strong. It's too strong. It's too strong to let go. That's how I feel like you can recognize. Somebody you was really fucking with in a previous life. Because if it's hard to walk away, it's something there. It's something that keep pulling you there. You see what I'm saying? It keep, it's something that keep pulling you back. But if you was dealing with a person and, and it was like, okay, whatever. Like, I don't even give a fuck about that person. Like, they can be gone. And you really be thinking that, like, I don't even care. Like, don't call me. You see what I'm saying? But with a with a person who you used to fuck with in a previous life where the connection is strong as hell, it's something about that person where it's like, what the fuck? It, what? Like, I don't give a fuck. You, you may have not talked to this person in a week. As soon as this motherfucker texts your ass, you responded instantly and shit like what the fuck happened like i thought y'all were fucking around like you see what i'm saying like that's how strong the bond is and it goes back to wherever the fuck you left off at that type of shit now this is all leading to a motherfucker not in denial they not in denial because at first they was they didn't want to see the truth about this somebody did not want to see the truth 
somebody is not finna see some type of change coming and I feel like it's for the good. They not finna see this and this is like dealing with communication, dealing with truth. I feel like somebody is going to speak truth and you not finna see this coming. But I feel like when you ex when you hear this truth, then you can heal. Then you can heal. I feel like that will bring your faith back. That will bring your hope back. But all you want is this clear communication, this direct talking, like let's sit down, let me explain. And I feel like that will heal you. Because you put a lot of time and effort into a person or situation or whatever the case may be and you don't really know the whole truth. You don't know the details. It's like, you might as well take my vision the fuck away. You see what I'm saying? It's like that. But I feel like you definitely mean the world to somebody. You mean the world to this person or whatever. And I feel like you're not going to see this coming when it comes to this communication that's going to heal you because I feel like you need this you need that clarity to heal so this cycle and that cycle will be wrapped up that will be over with that's the end of that them questions and shit it, it, it shouldn't be not another motherfucking question all right, I'm going to need you to ask all the fucking questions when this person gets to start talking around this bitch. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's really all I got, y'all. You already know it's my birthday. So, if you want to tip me, you already know I'm accepting tips, okay? Birthday gifts and, and money. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's really all I got, y'all. Thumbs the fuck up if that shit just made sense. Thumbs the fuck up if you want to wish me a happy birthday. And, um, yeah, that's really all I got. Peace the fuck out, all right? <laughs>